Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is two-stage brushless magnetic heater test one. As you can see there, guys, I have brushless motor right there. I have another one on that side. Each with its own controller. Uh, a couple temp probes. One on stage one and one on stage two. Each one of these controllers has a little potentiometer so I can uh, fine-tune it in case uh, I get some vibration. Sometimes it uh, starts whining. Uh, switch mode power supply, same as always. And uh, we'll crank her up. Go to about 25 watts, guys, around there. See, we're jumping around on the one probe there. Oh. So, inside each one of those aluminum tubes, I don't know if you can see that little uh, piece of metal rotating around there. Anyways, if you can see this here, there's one of the rotors, guys, and the aluminum tube I used. You can see the gap there. Twenty-three point three watts coming out, up to twenty-six degrees C. It's been about a minute. I was a little bit slow starting the stopwatch, but I started, uh, yeah, one was at 24.4, so it's gone up two degrees in like a minute. Still pulling 23 watts, you guys. See, I've got the cage on some isolators there from an old AC compressor unit. And you can see the end bearing there. Actually, there's no bearing. This is just a prototype. I'm actually going to make this out of acrylic. You can see the, uh, this is like a polycarbonate almost. And this is Diabon. It's got two sheets of aluminum with a polymer center. Very nice uh, material to work with. Coming up on two minutes, you guys, 27.7C. We started at 24.4. 30 watts coming out of the wall. Pretty close. Twenty nine point two coming up on three minutes, you guys. Pushing out ten volts out of the switch mode power supply. Almost 35 watts. Get a little bit of resonance every now and then. Get a bad vibration. 31.4. 
So like I said, started at uh, 24.4 stage one, stage two is at 25.1. And it rests at 32.5. So, just a little test, guys, of uh, the prototype. I think this has potential. I'm thinking I might put water jackets around these two pieces of aluminum. And get better flow than copper tube. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyways, we'll leave it at that, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one. Later.